To add subtitles, all you have to do is go to timeline and hit on create subtitles from audio. You can add subtitles to the whole timeline, to a single clip or to a section. Once you click on create subtitles from audio, you will get this dialog box. Here you have a few options that you need to know. First one is the language. You can leave it on auto, but I found out that with English it works perfectly fine. But if you're speaking some of the other languages, I would recommend just selecting it beforehand. Then the caption presets, you have just a few, you have teletext and Netflix. I just leave it at subtitle default because after that I'm going to stylize my captions by myself. Then we have the maximum characters per line. It depends on the style of the video. Now, if you like to do a social media like TikTok or YouTube video or whatever, and you would like to have like single words just popping out, you'll have like a maximum of 10. But if you like to have like a regular, more cinematic style subtitles, you will go like 40 or like at least 30 and above. Make sure to go under lines to double because you don't want to have like single line with 40 plus characters then the gap between subtitles leave it at two and after that just click on create and observe the magic the auto subs can be customized and edited in the timeline as well pretty easily if you want to have a different style you simply select one of the sub boxes go into the inspector here you have the option to either customize the whole track or just a single caption you can change character font size you can add stroke you can add drop shadow backgrounds if you go under captions, this will customize only the captions that you have selected right now. To make that happen, you have to click on the customize options. And then from here, you can change just this single subtitle box. To switch between lines easily, just expand your inspector. And here you have this window where you can just switch between lines. You can also edit the captions in the timeline itself. So here I say, uh, and I don't start saying an actual word until here. I will just drag this part from here to here. I will get my razor tool with the B, make a cut, go back to selection tool with A, select the first box, delete it, select the second box, delete, edit, and now you have pretty sweet. So if you have changes to the style of your track and you want to have it in multiple projects, go into these three dotted lines, click save track as preset and just click on OK. And now every time you add in subtitles, you can switch between all of your presets. If you want to export this subtitle track, right click here on the subtitle track and hit on export subtitles and click on save. Okay, so I'm not a native English speaker and it works perfect. What will happen if I try? Hola a todos, gracias por ver este video. Come said video. Und abonniere den canal. Did it work? It didn't work? I don't know. 